I heard that you just failed an actuarial exam. First of all, I just wanna say that I am so proud of you for even taking the exam and for having studied hours upon hours. I know from experience that studying for an actuarial exam is an undeniably grueling process and it absolutely sucks to fail one. Failing an exam doesn't mean you're not smart. It doesn't mean that you can't do it. Failing an exam doesn't mean that you're not as competent or as smart as your peers. In fact, failing an actuarial exam is normal. Many, many successful actuaries fail at least one, if not multiple, of their actuarial exams. And many successful actuaries fail the same exam multiple times. Failure is common and it's okay. I know it can be embarrassing to admit to your family, to your friends, to your coworkers, to your boss that you failed an actuarial exam. Maybe it feels like you've let yourself down because you spent so much time studying just to have to do it all over again. But if you are watching this video, it's likely that you tried your very best, that you really sat down for months on end, studied your butt off and gave it your all. And honestly, you can't do more than your very best. A lot of times, actuaries are praised when they pass their actuarial exams on their first try. But I think that we should really be encouraging and praising those who fail, yet persevere and continue to take their exams because that takes true grit and courage. It took Thomas Edison over 1,000 tries to create the light bulb. I doubt that this is your thousandth try, so you're already winning. Think about all the times an athlete has to lose a game, lose a record, get an injury, get in a rut before they finally win a championship. When we look at other people's successes, we only see that their success. Not the many hours sacrificed with their family and friends, not the anxiety and stress that they've had for months on end, and not the million other struggles that we don't see. But speaking of success, don't let this one singular failure make you forget about all of your successes. Did you graduate high school? Did you graduate college? Or are you working towards it? Did you wake up today? When was the last time you made someone smile? When was the last time you made yourself smile? Future you is so proud of you for pushing through this, and I am too. This is a reminder that everything will turn out okay. As you know, failing an actual exam can be a big hit to your ego, especially for those of us who have succeeded academically for most of our lives. I know many of us came out of high school with stellar GPAs, we did really well in college, and so maybe this is the first time that you're really struggling to succeed at something. It can feel degrading to fail your actuarial exams, but there's a reason that the first two actuarial exams, PNFM, the very first two actuarial exams that you think would be the easiest to take because they're the first ones, have a pass rate of about 50%, which is lower than the pass rates for the bar exam that lawyers take. I mean, come on, this stuff is hard. It's truly a compliment to yourself that you're even taking these exams that have such a high level of rigor. Now, yes, you failed your exam, which sucks, but what an opportunity this is to come back even stronger than before. What an opportunity this is to come back even more determined and to prove to yourself that you can do what you put your mind to. I know it sucks that you failed. I know, I know, I know because I've failed my exams. So give yourself the time and permission you need to grieve the failure of this exam. Let yourself be angry. Let yourself be sad. Maybe cry. Let yourself be frustrated. But then get back up with your head risen because you are gonna pass. You've got it in you to succeed, no matter how hard it may seem right now. If you're feeling like you're not cut out to be an actuary or like actuarial science isn't right for you and you're thinking of giving up on the career, here's the truth. If you wanna be an actuary, you will be, but you have to want it. You have to want it bad, so bad that you ignore the shame, the doubt, the embarrassment that comes with failure in order to strive for something greater than yourself. Because let me tell you, this is probably not the only time you're gonna fail. You're probably gonna fail another exam. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it sucks, but that's part of the process. You have to feel it. You have to see yourself in the future being a fully credentialed actuary having passed all your exams. What does that feel like? What would your future credentialed actuarial self 
say to you right now. Use your frustration of not passing this exam to your advantage. Let it motivate you to do even better this time around so that there's no doubt about it, you're passing. I mean, lucky for you, the worst case scenario has already happened. You failed your exam. Congratulations, you found a study method that doesn't work, which means you're one step closer to finding one that does. If you got a report of your exam results, See which sections could use more work and start by strengthening those. One of my college professors, Kirk Peter, told us to not even think of it as failing the exam because maybe you got a four or a five, which is so close to passing the exam. And so you didn't fail. Failing indicates that you didn't even know what you were doing, that you got 0%, that you completely missed the mark, but you likely got over 50% of the questions correct. So you just have to do a little bit more studying to pass. We don't really talk about failing all that much in the actual community, which I think makes some of us wonder if failing an exam has something to do with our own competencies. But who wants to openly admit their failures? Probably not most of us. Even so, I really encourage you to talk to others in the actuarial profession about their failures. If you're an actuarial student, and especially if you're a credentialed actuary watching this video, I highly encourage you to talk about your failed exams more. If you're a student, ask your peers how their exams are going. Talk to credentialed actuaries and ask how many exams they failed or how many times they had to retake a single exam. I think you'll very soon realize that failing is very common. Moral of the story is, don't beat yourself up for failing an actuarial exam. You've got this and I believe in you. Before I close out this video, I'd like to shout out five commenters who commented on my AI video. Thank you so much for commenting. If you would like to see your name on the screen in my next video, make sure to comment down below. I'd also highly recommend bookmarking or saving this video for later so that you can come back to it when you need to. That is all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that this was really helpful. If it was, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel below. Bye.